Hi there, my name is Sydney Dukes and I'm going to be talking about tuberculosis today. So tuberculosis is a disease that is caused by bacteria that attacks an individual's lungs. The bacteria that causes this disease is called myobacterium tuberculosis and infects about 2 billion people every year. Latin tuberculosis is an infection that does not cause any symptoms of the infected individual. People with Latin tuberculosis are infected with myobacterium tuberculosis but do not have tuberculosis as a disease and therefore cannot spread the disease. Active tuberculosis, on the other hand, is when the bacteria overcomes an individual's immune system and causes the illness tuberculosis. Individuals with active tuberculosis develop symptoms such as cough, which may include blood, fatigue, fever, chills, and may even lead to death. Individuals with active tuberculosis can spread the disease. I would not expect it to be more difficult to treat a TB infection with the Latin form because it is not resistant to, it is likely not resistant to antibiotics. The individual will not have symptoms that are a threat to their livelihood either, so their lives aren't necessarily at risk with the Latin form of tuberculosis. However, Latin tuberculosis will be more difficult to detect. If an individual is symptomatic, they will likely report to their physician for a workup which will likely lead to a diagnosis of tuberculosis. However, if an individual is asymptomatic, they may go for long periods of time without discovering a diagnosis because they don't have any symptoms to prompt them to undergo a workup with their physician. In terms of the bioethical case of a patient infected with a drug-resistant strain of tuberculosis, I do think it is ethical to legally confine a non-compliant individual during treatment. If an individual is knowingly putting others' lives at risk and spreading a drug-resistant disease, they should be confined. This individual is a threat to society and therefore should be contained until they are no longer a threat, which would basically be until a um, cure or adequate treatment is found and administered to the individual. Um, I think that living through the COVID-19 pandemic has further confirmed my opinion on this bioethical issue. This pandemic has showed the worst sides of society, including selfishness, ignorance, and blatant disregard for the lives of others. The United States is still in the midst of this pandemic due to the inconsiderate actions of the minority, which impact this entire society. Therefore, I do not think that confining an individual with a highly contagious disease, especially an antibiotic-resistant disease, is unethical.